check this out. A brand new setup that I'm going to use the uh, MPP um, solar charge controllers. And it's a completely off grid setup. And this is 20 panels of 280 watts. And this is the REC panel REC two, uh, 280 um, TP2. So they're two, 280s each. And um, I put uh, 20 of them on there. So it'll be a 5.6 uh, kilowatt system. I didn't do this myself. Um, I figure it's too much work. It's gonna take me forever to do it. So I got a, um, a company, um, the solar guys, and then they came out and then they uh, um, installed it. It only take about uh, four hours. And then what they did is they just uh, ran the wire down for me. So if you guys watched my previous video, you know that um, I put four panels on the side right here um, on uh, this Unirack. Uh, about uh, a year ago for my uh, water heating and that's been working really well uh, so now here is the new conduit uh, the new uh, 20 panels so it's really simple um, they will, uh, so there's 20 panels um, 10 of them is going to be in series um, and then the other 10 will be the other array uh, the other string will be in series as well so it's 10 10 and then it, it's coming down here to this conduit and then I have them run to this um, disconnect. Um, it has not been wired up, so they still have it taped up and everything. So there'll be two string, um, so two positive there, as you see. And then I might, um, they said there's still spacing up there. Um, so I, you know, if I need more, I can add probably another string of 10. But, you know, I, I, I have to see, because my plan is to um, only use this off-grid system to run that air conditioner um, in the previous video that I did the test on the MPP solar um, to run that two and a half ton air conditioner along with a one ton um, mini split that I was going to put in my garage so that I can cool uh, my workspace because in the summer here you know it could be like 110 outside and in the garage it's like hotter than outside so I, I couldn't really do any work so I'm gonna I'm gonna put a mini split in there um, so now I'm, you know, I'm kind of in between. I'm not sure if I should uh, leave my um, uh, solar PV alone the way it is, and then um, and then run the off-grid system separately, or if I should just uh, take all these four panels, uh, put it on an extra charge controller, and then feed the battery bank, and then use the inverter power to power the water heater. Uh, obviously, I don't, I, I'm, I don't like that idea. That's the reason why I went with this water heater, uh, PV to water heater in the first place, is to not use the inverter um, capability. Um, however, um, this system, this water heating system, PV, has been so effective that in the summer times, um, or even in the winter times, it, in the summer time, it only runs um, two or three hours. A day in the morning um, and then by noontime the water is already so hot that the my system would just shut off and it, it wouldn't do anything um, so that's the drawback um, so I was hoping maybe if I um, put this into the inverter and run on my battery and these four panels uh, might be able, able to give me um, that extra power uh, you know for the rest of the day and that would go into my battery or would you know power that air conditioner because there's a chance that even 20 panels up there might not be enough to power this air conditioner plus the one ton so we're talking about three and a half ton total um, so so I don't know uh, so when I ran the water PV I actually ran two uh, 12 uh, two 10 gauge uh, wires uh, sets of wire in here so I have the option of leaving the PV uh, water heating then use the other wire because this go into the garage as you guys know this last time I ran this conduit it goes to the side of the house unfortunately my garage is on the other side of the house so this conduit will go into the garage to the water heating uh, over there so if and then I would need one of this wire to 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 power the mini split a uh, switch this to a, a 
a uh, inverting uh, back to uh, AC is what it is. Uh, switch back to AC water heating um, if I can get my uh, system uh, up and running. So uh, that's pretty much it. So 20 panels, 5.6 kilowatt, and this one's actually facing the west. Uh, I know that a lot of people in the U.S. like like to face south, um, but here in Arizona, after I did my system, uh, my uh, you know the four kilowatt system down in my other house, um, I realized that uh, here in Arizona, it's actually uh, more. It's actually much better if you face west. Because here, you know, the power company, they will charge you more in the afternoon usage. So um, it's, it's better if you do uh, face in the west so that uh, you get, when you need it, the air conditioner, which is about 2 to 3 o'clock, uh, then, you know, you would, uh, you would get that uh, power uh, output uh, in the afternoon so you can, uh, you can use it. Um, so this, uh, these four panels are facing south. And uh, as you see right now, in the morning, the sun is actually that way instead of this way. So it comes in, in the summertime, it, it comes from uh, kind of from uh, uh, the east side, and then it goes straight up, right over, straight overhead, and then it landed back there. So here in July, um, it actually go like, I think five or even 10 degree north here in Arizona, that's in the summertime. And then in the winter time, um, it actually go 57 degrees south. So, you know, it's a very big, uh, drastic change. So that's the problem with, with Arizona. We do have a lot of sun, but it varies so much in the winter times and in the summertime. Uh, so, but if you want your power in the summertime, you better have your panel flat, just, you know, zero angle. So that's why I have right here on my roof, zero angle, uh, north and south, but it is about uh, 10 degree west. So I'm hoping that's gonna work out. If it can give me 35 kilowatts a day, and I, I think I, I'll be happy then. Well, all right, thanks for watching. So the next video would be, um, so all of my electronics gonna be behind this room here. So I have this little back room for my house, the door, and I'll show you guys that later. And then, so I'm just gonna have to uh, do a conduit that take the PV power in, and then the AC power back out, and then uh, feed it to the, uh, the air conditioners over there. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll keep you guys updated.